So you want to till it very shallow. I've heard anywhere from one to two inches deep, just enough to kind of chop up that residue. Uh, and they're running upwards of nine miles an hour just to get a good slice. It's not for everyone. A lot of guys highly value the residue they've tried to build up over the years, but it is an option, not the option for everyone. Obviously it's going to be dependent on your equipment. In our trials we haven't seen any yield difference from 6 to 15 inches. This is some trial, a trial from Dr. Gotzi looking at diff, or four different seating rates on a 30 inch planter with all four of them having a row cleaner. Uh, uh, 15 inches on a grain drill with no coulter and uh, same thing but with the conventional till and then a 15 inch drill uh, with the wavy coulter. And this is just looking at percent emergence. So how many of the seeds came up into a, a viable stand? And with that two, per, two pounds on 30 inch rows, are able to get almost all the seeds up. Uh, as we start to look at the different seeding rates, as we increase, obviously that's way too many seeds per foot of row. Uh, the seedlings know that and they die off quickly. They compete with themselves. A lot of the newer or young no-till fields are a little bit more compact or a little bit more dense. Uh, this is also going to decrease root growth. It's usually higher bulk density in younger fields, but after a few years, maybe five, ten years, we've created a system where uh, we have pretty good tilth in the soil. Uh, critical factor, weed competition, especially in no-till. Uh, the weeds will limit the stand establishment, they'll compete with it. Canola isn't very competitive as a seedling, so it's very critical to get that early fall application out, and especially in no-till. Uh, we usually say between four to six weeks after we plant. Uh, obviously in no-till, we're trying to get that plant off to a great start as fast as we can to build up enough uh, root and above ground material. So if that plant's competing for nutrients and water, that's going to obviously limit our stand establishment as well as get a, a viable plant throughout the winter.